Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Jones. So today we've got the UK 65 to look at. I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I've been asked a couple of times in the comments that having people are having trouble setting these up on beta flight and so forth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this, how to set it up on this, and then I'll go through beta flight. Remember, I'm not a trainer, I'm not an instructor. It's my basic settings on beta flight. I'm not a professional by any way, but it might get you set up in the, the way you're using it. And then I'll have a quick flight footage of it in the house because the wind's absolutely horrendous today. So, let's have a look what you get in the box. So in the box you get the UK65 itself. You get the charger, which is the same as the one on the UR65. Plug in the back, you can run it off 12 volt power supply. XD60, and then you've got a USB out, not in. So that's for charging your phone and what have you. Spare set of props. And you get three batteries, this one. So you get three 250 milliamp hour high volts. A bag of spares, actually. We'll need the screwdriver this time. Let's take the top off, though. Let's just get that out so I can show you what, to, what is what. So, that's what you get in the box. Let's put that to one side. So this is the quad so beautiful little thing it is. So you can get this in the UK one or the US one. If you go to Banggood you can actually buy the frame and the shells in German, Spanish, French and some, I can't remember, but I remember them three. So you can actually buy these in a non-UK format if you're not from the UK obviously and swap it around. I think they're only about four quid as well. So as you can see it runs on very tiny motors. You see there the motors, so the 0603s and the 1900 kVs. This has smart audio which I'll show you later on and explain that to you later on and how to use it. And it very much is like the US it has got a slightly bigger motors uh, and it does fly, to me it flies a bit better but there's not that much in it to be honest. You, you're mainly buying it because there's upgraded motors and it has got smart audio which makes a difference. So. Let's just have a look in, let's just take the top off. So if you look on the top there, so this is the Fly Sky version obviously. You can see how tiny everything is there. So you've got a little bind button in there. So what you have to do is hit the bind button while you plug the battery in. But this I think is what people are struggling with. So just let me just go into... This is already bound this one but let me just go into it and show you. You must have your transmitter set to PWM plus I, okay? You can adjust that obviously, and there are your different versions, but it must be on the plus I for it to work correctly. Connect it to that, put your battery in, hit the bind button at the same time, so bind button down, battery plugged in, I get someone to help me, I always don't ever can do both at the same time, so I tend to get someone to plug the battery in for me, and that's all you need to do to bind it. So. That's how you bind your basic model. What you're going to then need to do before you're going to beat a flight is you're going to have to set up some switches. So I'm going to use this switch to arm it. This is my three position switch and this momentary switch I'm going to show you how to set it up. Actually it isn't even though I say in the I've already done the beta flight bit but it isn't really used on this but you can use it for turtle mode or you can use it for a lost model buzzer. So Let's just go through quickly what you do. So you need to go to the top and you need to go to mixers. I'll have a lot of reflection on the screen. That might be better if you can see it there. So if you can see I've got channel 5 set up for my switch A, channel 6 for switch B and channel 7 for switch C. So there are them three switches. So to set a switch up I'm just going to go into another one so let's just select anything you want. So let's go into channel, into something that's not used. Go into that one, go to edit. If you look there where it says TR3, if you click that button down, select anything you want. So your switches are down below. Sorry, let me just come back into that again. So 
your switches are down at the beginning with, with an S. There's your switches. So if I select switch F, let's change it up to F. Oh, sorry, I put that one to G. And all you need to do then is back out of it. That's all you need to do on on the transmitter. You don't need to do anything else. You set anything else up. So that channel eight would now be on switch on that switch. As you can see, I've got channel five, which is my arm switch. Okay, and that is on. See that switch A. So that's what you need to do. Set and three switched up. That's all you have to do. Nothing else on the transmitter at all. So basically, set your three switches up on there. Come all the way out of it. You're done. So you're you're done on the transmitter. Then you have to go set it up on beta flight. So what we're going to go do now is we're going to go to the computer and set it up on beta flight. We'll be back in a second. Okay, so this is beta flight. You can download beta flight from the GitHub. Um, very easy to find. Just type it in. You'll find it straight away. Or the other way you can do it is you can actually down you can actually download it onto Google Chrome, and it'll update. But whenever it needs to but I don't recommend doing that because often it's quite buggy so we connect the USB port up to the computer and then we hit connect I'm just going to do a very basic setup for you just to show you what's what so there you go so we're in and as you can see make sure the front of the quad is facing the right way with the green arrow there you can also if you can get it to set level here you can do a calibrate of your accelerometer which I've just done your ports will already be set up don't adjust them straight out of the box it'll be right configuration everything in here should be right as well but we're just going to check so this is the fly sky version we're setting it up on the Nirvana so that's what we need it to be what it's showing on the screen there fly sky 2a telemetry is on and the OSD is on so we've got the on-screen display working motor stop don't spin the motors when armed. If you click that, the motors won't spin when you arm. If you don't have it clicked, they'll obviously spin when you I recommend spinning, leaving them spinning. But that's entirely up to you. Power and battery, you don't really need to bother about in here. Pids, leave well alone. If, if you're new to all this, don't play about in here. Your pids are great for this thing straight out of the box. So receiver, so you saw this, we set up the receiver earlier, we bound it to so just make sure everything goes the right way. So that's my throttle. So I'm moving my throttle there, and as you can see, I'm then moving my L arms, elevator, and your. These are on the switches we set up. So we set up an arm switch, remember, which is auxiliary one. So that's what we set up on auxiliary one. On auxiliary two, we set up a three position switch. And we also set up auxiliary three on that momentary switch, if you remember. So they're the ones we set up and as you can see auxiliary 3, auxiliary 2 and auxiliary 1. You don't have to do anything else, they'll already work when you come in here. This is where you set your modes up. So that's my arm switch. Now for some reason it doesn't light up, it normally does light up when I click arm there but I think it may be because I've got something out on the some, somewhere else but it works absolutely fine. So my first switch I set up with my three position switch. So I've got it on angle, horizon and air. So to get it to where you want it to be, you simply make sure this is on auxiliary two if you want to put your angle on there and move this slider about until when the switch is in the angle position, it's over the top of it. So for instance, if I move it to here, I've now got no angle mode. If I move it back down to where it was, I've got angle mode. So I'm not an instructor and I do hope this makes sense. Similarly with horizon you do exactly the same thing. Move that to the centre move that to the centre because you centre switch. Wanna move I'll just move the switch again. And as you can see, I have a pointer there for position one, the pointer moves to there for position two, and the pointer moves there for position three. If that makes sense. So you've got in a second position you've now got horizon. So move make that slider over the top. And then in air mode, similarly. I've got it right over here for my third position and then turtle mode if you use turtle mode I set turtle mode upon this switch you've got flip up over crash 
and you just flick that across and you can see channel 3 is turning it on. So when that goes yellow here, when you get yellow here, it means the switch is active. Does that, I hope that makes sense to everybody. As I say, I'm not at all, um, and I don't pretend to be an expert on beta flight. I'm just going through it quickly. Someone did ask me how to set up, if it was easy to set up um, beta flight on one of these for the Nirvana in a, in a message before. So that's what I'm doing this for, but I'm no expert. So that's, you can see, you've got your basic settings. So I've gone back into the mode screen. You'll now see that I have um you can see my little you can see the point to move and then you can see the point to move on angle and then horizon air and then if i flip over after crash you can see it move over there now the one thing to be to be very careful of on this is um i haven't floated this by the way this is straight out of the box and i'm just setting it up so i don't even i'm not sure if it has turtle mode i just set it up anyway to see if it has got it so i'm not saying it definitely has so don't quote me on that so as you can see i've got my switches set up this doesn't have a beeper and then the other thing you need to do is go into your osd and how much do you want on this screen here there's a lot of things going on here so do you want all these things on the screen at, at once so that shows you what mode you're in that's your model this is your flight time on and your fl actual flight time so on minutes and flight time back your battery voltage your RSSI how many amps is drawing and how many milliamps and it tells you your status disarmed and then it obviously would have low voltage because of a battery so you can turn these on and off as you like you can have artificial horizon turned on and sidebars you can see it's put them on I don't like them on because there's just too much on the screen and I'm also going to take off some of the other stuff so let's take off we've got crosshairs off we'll take them off we'll leave the flight mode on we don't need on minutes in i like to know what mode i'm in a milliamp power so we'll leave the current draw and them as they were so as you can see that's your bit of like you can move that about and you can grab things and move them about on the screen if you want it's really good so as you can see i've moved them about on the screen i can move them up to where i want it's a better in my goggles so they're not in my line of sight when i'm flying and then the other thing you can do is and i should if you go into configuration you can change your craft name so i'll just show you what i mean so if i over type this with Kowalski drones you must always, after everything, either save or save and reboot. So I'm going to save and reboot the system. So when it boots back up again, hit connect. And then go back into my OSD. And as you can see, I've now got Kolsky drones on here. If I move that stabilised down to there, there you go. So you can put whatever craft name in you want. I've obviously put Cosby Jones in there. But whatever craft name you want. So I hope that's made it a little bit clearer. So it's all saved now. We've come out of that. We need to disconnect it. And that's it. So let's go back to the table and go through some other stuff. Okay, so you're now set up in beta flight. So you've done that bit, so the next thing you really need to do is if you want to adjust your settings for your VTX etc using Smart Audio. So what I've done is I've connected it up to here, so I'm running off the ROTOG on here. So as you can see, that's my screen display. So if I put the throttle to the centre, if I put the throttle to so I'm remember you're watching mode one here. So throttle to the centre, your to the left, pitch up. Let me just try and do it. I'm trying to do both things in one hand. So, salt to the center, pitch up, and there you go. So, you're in there. So, if you look at your settings in here, this is what you've got on your screen. The glare's terrible. I'm sorry about this. So, you've got profile, features, OSD. So, you need to go down to your features. Let's go. 
So pitch up till you get to features and then left or right on your air alarms and you're in. So here you go, so if you do go down you can adjust your VTX settings in here and then you can adjust your power so you can have it on you can see that, you can adjust your power, come back out again so that's what my band's on, you can adjust your band in here and then if I go down to power here I can adjust 200 milliwatts, 500, 800 if it had it obviously and 25 milliwatts, so this is how you adjust your power I hope you can see that well on the screen and then if you go back again and then you've got you can adjust your OSD settings on here whether you want to active elements various things you can do which make it so much easier than having to go back on the computer every time there's a lot of things in here I wouldn't mess with to be honest with you and if you have to be the set up you're probably never going to need to come in here but I just wanted to show it you so you do know and then to go out if you go down if you just go to X6, I've not adjusted anything, and there we are. So we're back out. So we've now got it set up. So we've got remember we set arm on this switch. It's not on a flat surface, but there you go. So we've armed it now. Can we set arm on that switch? And then we've got our other mode. So we've got that one is angle horizon and there. So angle, horizon and air on these switches. And remember, we didn't use this switch because it hasn't got turtle mode. So if it had turtle mode, that would be our turtle mode switch or our buzzer. So as you can see, it's quite easy to set up, isn't it? It's, it's not as complicated as it is. I remember the first time I ever used this. If you go back in the day, I used to use CC3Ds. They were awful to things to set up. Beta flight is so much easier to set up. Let me just turn this off. Beta flight is so much easier to set up. So, let's have a quick look at the quad itself and let me tell you what I think about it. This is an amazing piece of kit. I don't think you can go wrong for the money. I bought this on a flash sale and I got it for 55 quid which is really cheap. They're normally about 67, 70 pounds. They're worth it at that. This is a fantastic model. You can fly indoors, outdoors in a very, very light wind. Not like it is today but if it was a light wind you I fly this outdoors absolutely no problem whatsoever. You can fly it slow, you can fly it fast. I don't have a lot of room in my house so I have to fly it slow around the house. I'm going to do a little video in a minute to show you it flying inside and what the camera quality looks like when it's been recorded to the OSD. I'm going to record it onto this and then transfer that to the video you're about to watch. But yeah, I can't say hi. There's a load of videos about this showing you all the little different specs. I just wanted to do a video quickly because people have asked me how to set it up on here. I hope it's helped. I'm not an instructor. I just know how to do it my way. There's probably I'm probably doing things wrong or whatever. It doesn't really matter to me. This is how I set it up and this is how I get it to fly. Don't adjust anything you don't need to adjust, that's my biggest tip for people if you're beginning. But as a beginner drone, this is amazing. It's, don't be put off by the fact it's you can get um, the brushed motor one and you might be better off with that. Get one of these, this thing's amazing for us. Beginner, intermediate, anybody can fly this thing. It's really, really nice. It's rock stable. You can fly it slow, you can fly it fast. Yeah, so it looks absolutely amazing. I'm so happy with this. You can buy the UR65, they're about the same money, so you may as well get this one. It's got smart audio on and then it looks hell of a lot better. And the motors are a bit... But I can't really tell that much of a difference flying both of them. But I'm not a pro flyer. I fly very much for fun. I just love it. But, yeah, so, enough of me, enough of me wittering on and boring you to death. It's a great toy. It's worth the money. I recommend it highly. I recommend... You can get, the, I recommend it in Fly Sky because obviously I've got the Tyranis, but you can buy it in the Tyranis, you can buy the FR Sky version, the Fly Sky version, and DSM2, DSMX. But it is so easy to set up in here. People, I think they've been asking the question, I've got Fly Sky before and I'm not used to OpenTX, and that's all it is. Once you've used to OpenTX, it's so easy. The bit I showed you at the beginning where I set up the this model, copy that, and you can use it every time. because. It's always going to be the same. So you can just use that for your next model, and your next model, and your next model, and just going to beat a flight and make sure your settings are right. But you don't need to do anything else different on the transmitter any time. That's how easy they are to use. So I'll leave you with the footage. Uh, footage. I'll leave you with the footage of it flying. Have a fantastic day and enjoy the rest of your week.
thanks very much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it if you do please hit the like button and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the notification bell thanks for watching